Playing fetch with your dog is a great way for them to burn off energy. But sometimes it might be snowy or muddy outside or whatever your motivation is. It's a really nice skill for them to have if they can bring that ball directly back to your hand. And that's what we're going to learn about today. I'm Ken Steep and welcome back to McCann Dogs. Now if this is your first time on the channel and you consider your dog a family member, then you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every single week to help you spend some quality time with your four-legged family member. Kale published a video a while ago that shows you how you can get your dog to love retrieving, how to teach your dog to love bringing the ball back. And I'll actually post a link to that video up there, but it was the essence was uh, teaching Beeline to bring the ball back every single time and with great motivation. So we're going to build on some of those skills today. Now to start off, your dog's going to need an out command or a drop command so that when you tell them to give up the ball, they do it quickly. Now I'm just gonna kind of breeze over teaching the actual uh, outer drop it command in this exercise because I really wanna to get to the putting it in my hand part, but if you haven't worked on an outer drop it exercise with your dog, you're gonna need some sort of trade. And for Rad, I know that he loves cheese, so I've cut up some cheese, and we're gonna use cheese as, cheese as that food trade, but if you have a dog who loves toys more than treats, we're gonna talk about that as well. Now I'm gonna use this interactive toy to show you guys the outline of the out command, and it's gonna be all about timing, as is a lot of dog training. So. I'm gonna get Rad tugging and playing with this toy, and then I'm gonna give him the out command, and then show him a piece of food. What I wanna do is successfully show him that every time he, I say that word, a uh, treat is gonna be presented to him, so that he uh, pairs the hearing the out command with something better being presented. Okay, tug, 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 tug. Get that tug, 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 tug. Good boy, tug, 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 I'm gonna grab my treat. Good boy, tug, 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 out. And then present the treat, good boy, very nice, good. So let's try that again. Tug, ah, good boy, tug, tug, tug. Good boy, tug, 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 get that toy, good. Good boy, tug, 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 tug. Out, present the treat, yes, good boy. Now I want you guys to practice that one several times. If your dog doesn't have an out command, make sure you go through that process and pay special attention to the timing. As Rad was tugging, he's totally engaged. I grabbed a treat, I said out, then presented the food. When he dropped that toy, I rewarded him with the food and I can even capture that moment with a yes. So as he drops it, tug, 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 out. Yes, good boy, that'll buy me a couple of extra seconds to get that treat and then reward him. Now if you have a dog who loves toys more than they love food, you can do the exact same steps in this process. You're gonna just interchange toy, a toy, with the food that uh, we were showing you before. Now I'm gonna wanna know which uh, toys my dog loves the most. He really seems to like this fabric frisbee and he kind of likes this rope toy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna engage with him using this rope toy, playing a game of tug. I'm gonna issue that out command or a drop command maybe in your case and then I'm going to show him the frisbee so that we're going to exercise that same um, timing that we did using the food and I'll show you how that goes. Good boy. Good, good. Tug him. Good boy. Tug, tug, tug. Good boy. And out. Yes. Tug. Good boy. Very good. You saw how much Rad likes this fabric frisbee. He was really willing to give up the rope toy in exchange for the frisbee. And out. Good boy. So you can see how you can easily interchange a toy, in this case the uh, fabric frisbee that he loves, with food. So find out what your dog loves the most, but make sure you go through several repetitions of practicing that uh, drop or out command before you move on to the next step. I've set some things up in the hallway and I've actually put on the GoPro so I can bring you guys right in close to the action, but you can see I'm using the hallway for our demonstration and the hallway can be a really great place to practice your retrieving skills. It gives the dog less options to be wrong and, and I'll show you what I in just a minute. Once your dog starts to understand the value of the out command, we're actually going to pair that with a new command. And for Rad, I'm going to say in my hand. Now every time I say in my hand, I'm going to present my hand to him and then I'm going to say out and allow him to drop that ball in my hand. Sooner or later, I'm going to be able to drop that out command and every time he hears in my hand and drops the ball, he's going to be rewarded. In my hand, out. Yes, good boy. Good boy. In my hand, out. Yes, good boy. In my hand, present my hand, out. Yes, good boy. I've got some of these great cheese treats that Rad loves, and I've also got the tennis ball, and I'm gonna show you guys how to insist that Rad puts the ball in my hand before I reward him. Okay, buddy. Go get the ball, get the ball, get it, get it, get it. Okay, so he brings it back off my hand. Oops, you gotta get that ball. Now I'm gonna make sure that he puts that ball right in my hand. Get your ball, good. Yes, good boy. Now a couple things I did there. When I showed Rad my hand, he 
tried to put it in my hand, dropped the ball, and it missed. Now, I didn't pick up the ball. I made sure that I uh, insisted that he get the ball again and then give me that drop it or that out in, so that the ball went into my hand. And I wasn't going to offer up a reward until that happened. So you'll see that I accept nothing less than Rad putting it right in my hand before he gets that free reward. And I'm going to make it a little bit easier for him if he misses the first time. Okay, get that ball. Get the ball. Bring it here in my hand. Almost, buddy. Get that ball. Yes, good boy. Way better. Nice job, buddy. Get the ball in my hand. Yes, good boy. Now you saw Rat had to work a little bit harder that second time. I raised my hand a little bit and moved it over, but the only way he was getting that reward was if he dropped the ball in my hand. Now if your dog gets stalled out at all and they keep dropping the ball in the same place, use some motion to really encourage the dog to move toward you and I'll show you what I mean. Get that ball. Bring it here. In my hand. Almost. Now I intentionally let that ball drop and I'm going to move backwards so the rat has to move into me a little bit closer. Almost. Get the ball. In my hand. See I'm moving? Yes, good boy. I was moving away from him each and every time. I was really insisting that he brings the ball toward me all the way in. In my hand. Oh, almost. And I'm going out of my way to drop this ball because he's almost got it. Yes, good boy. Nice job, buddy. But the only way he gets that reward is if he places the ball directly in my hand. Now, I don't need to use food all the time for this because there's going to become a point once your dog learns that putting the ball in your hand means you're going to throw it away again. But I would still throw in the odd food reward because your dog's going to get excited about going to fetch the ball. So if every single time they drop the ball in your hand, you immediately throw it away, they're going to lose value on that returning it to your hand part. So occasionally reward them with food until your dog truly understands that each and every time the ball needs to go in your hand. Now today is the perfect example of a uh, time when I want my dog to bring the ball directly back to my hand because it is snowing like crazy and I just don't want to have to dig through the snow once he brings the ball back. So let's practice our skill outside. Where's the ball? Yes, good boy. Bring it right here. Oops, get it in my hand. Yes, good boy. Get the ball. Get it. Good boy. Right here. Right, right in here. Right in my hand. Yeah. Oops. So I'll move back. Get the ball. Almost. Yes, good boy. Very nice. So if your dog struggles at all with uh, dropping the ball before he gets to you or uh, dropping the ball in a completely wrong spot, make it easier for him to be right because you really want to teach him through a succession of uh, correct choices. And once your dog understands to, put, to bring the ball directly back to your hand, you can start to throw in those other things. You remember how much Rad loved that fabric frisbee. So we'll insist that Rad brings the fabric frisbee right back to our hand the same way we do with the tennis ball. Brad, in my hand. In my hand? Yes, okay. Now there are lots of different ways you could apply this in my hand skill, whether that's a tennis ball or a frisbee, or maybe even teach your dog to go bring you the remote and put it in your hand. It'd be a, a really fun way to you know, uh, apply this skill to, uh, to other objects. Now this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every single week to help you spend some quality time with your four-legged family member. You see that video beside us? That's a video that YouTube thinks that you'll want to watch next. It's from our channel. On that note, I'm Ken. This is Rad. Happy training.